Hey, ladies and gentlemen, um, as you already know, it's always been a week since uh, Samurai Jack has been over. And I haven't uh, gone that far to actually talk about it. Um, first up, I'm going to start off with a, uh, a supply of it and then t give you my thoughts on the final episode. Um, okay. This is where. Uh, did say play. It takes back in the, uh, the classic age of, uh, how I'm supposed to say this. It's supposed to take back during the samurai, during the, uh, during the age where, uh, when samurai were around and all that. And it's about the, about the samurai who went to go stop this evil force known as Aku from taking over the world. It was like, you know, but he got in the blade from his dad, who was in prison by him, and he went to go s save the life. But dirt, and when he was fighting with uh, uh, Aku, he tore open a portal in time, flung into the future where his evil was law. And Jack was flung years into the future, and no one knows how far he went to. And it, when he landed there, he found out Aku reigned supreme, and he was the head, the Hacho. Throughout the throughout the four original series of Samurai Jack, it was about uh, Jack had met various other people: Fifth Man, Woolies, uh, the Blind Archer, the Scotsman, his wife. He made allies along the way, um, and uh, and during and we go into the fifth season where. Um, where this one's the only 10 episodes, which was the only thing I just don't get that every other ep season had 13 episodes, and that was it. And this one only had 10. I don't know what was going on with Glenn there, but who knows, who cares. Um. Anyway, uh. Uh, the beginning of the first episode of Jack starts off with Jack, you know, saving the two people, thanking him, and him dripping, going into madness. And that, and it was, it, it was something because you see Jack in his armor, and like his helmet I did not like. But the other was fine, and he, this is where he faced Scary Mooch. And Jack beat him rather easy. During the course, you can see Jack going into madness. And, and I forgot to mention, like I usually do, it starts in fifth season, takes place 50 years after the start and fence of the uh, first season. Or the fourth season, whatever. And during the course, like during the sixth episode, where we get to see uh, all Jack's allies that he made across. Like, Scottman got old. Uh, the fifth people, they didn't really got old much. The Woolies, he didn't either, but... Jump Good! I don't know his name. I'm sorry. Uh, it's been years. Um, and then we meet this new character named Ashi. Who was played by Tara Strong. Um... And she is known for playing Bubbles, uh, playing Ben 10, the original Ben 10 in that shitty remake, and Holly Quinn. And, um, well, and the first time we've seen her, um, she was trying to kill Jack with her other sisters. And while they got swallowed by a beast, she, uh, I had visions like we seen a flashback where she was fighting her, was training with her sister, and she stopped right for a moment because she saw a ladybug. But the high priestess, what they call her, um, told her that Jack wants to destroy the whole world that Aku created. Next episode where Jack, which was like. Episode 7? No, that was episode 7 when he gets sword back. It was episode 6, uh, where, uh, 
it where Jack's trying to show her that, hey, um, it's, it's Aku have been lying to you, and and he's the evil one, and she he told you these very places, shoulder, and they were the these kids, the creatures, the I don't know what they are, they were blue fur type beings, and. And the uh, and the kids went to savages. And near the end, Jack thought he killed them, and he went with his skeleton, which was see, which we were seeing out of the like third episode, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Um. Um. Well, uh, he went with him, and when he came to episode. Uh, oh no, I think it was episode 5 where that takes place, and then episode 6 when she went to go look for him and found some of the allies that Jad had met and saved, like the Woolies, how Jad saved him from being slaved, um, how the, the rape people were slaved from Aku Beats, and it had a kick ass song, and the song was We Will Never Forget You Till the Day We Die, or We Will Never Forget You Samurai. And then we meet the three blind archers, and then she went into this old bar where, when she met the samurai and some other characters, including the Mamu, the Mongo size, I uh, met your, the, don't think I'm gonna be confusing for me for a while, so, the, the Mongo turned out he was okay, alive, I don't know how, even though he got crossed by Aku, because he didn't forgive him. Um, oh, you got bad, you never know. In turn, and this little being that I think that looks like the mind me of Yoda, um, came up to her and told her, Look, go to the graveyard, and that's where Jack will be at. She went there and she found, convinced Jack not to kill himself because he, because the M, because he was going to kill himself because he found himself dishonored. Honored. So episode 7 starts off where how Jack explained to Aji how he lost his sword. Because, and this is what surprised me a lot. I thought he like someone, like he was in a fight, he, he, he got dropped and he fell down there. He didn't go, but, and I don't know why he didn't go get it. Maybe, but it turns out the reason why he didn't go get it is because, because, and when he went to go get it down, he realized, he realized he didn't lose the sword. The sword had left him. And he went to meditate. And while this ship was going... While he went to meditate, um... Archie stayed behind, and this whole army c came up. And Archie, like... She gave... I think she gave him warm, like, belief. If not, she'll kill him. And they didn't listen, and they regret it. Nope. And you've seen, like, she ran into the army head first, done this crazy sick thing. She, and all this, when Jack was in the meditation, he was making teasers, monk. Um, after that, uh, she saw, uh, saw a, a similar figure turned out to be the high priestess, a.k.a. her mom. Um, and then she fought her mom and she took her down. Like, when she went to go, ran up the jab, stabbed him behind while meditating, she used a, she pretty much just, uh, threw an arrow at her and fell off the cliff. And then, real, yeah, then the monk could told that the tea is terrible because it, it is not balanced. And it got all because of Jack's an inner anger that it kept him at, from keeping him the sword. And then the monk said, no, you are balanced. Then you meet the three gods that get, that the same three gods, Odin, Ra, and Ram, Ramnage, I don't know, 
I don't know it name it. I'm sorry. Um, so like your father, you have been chosen to, to stop to wield the sword to stop the forces of evil. And he got everything back, his clothes, his hair, uh, and including his sword. The episode eight, they were on a a um on a prison ship where they were fighting for the life and and near the end they did a a big holy crap thing where Ashi and Jack made out with a song playing. I don't know the song. And I can't really much come say much about it because it's like whoa. Episode nine where Jack wants to go meet that guardian because he and to go see if um if the guardian was gone because of the portals. He did, and at first I thought it was that small little guy that created those robots, you know, the one that Jack couldn't be, and he had to use a robotic arm to actually get a job done, but, but, John quit on him, but the god gave him a blade where it could cut through the enemy. Uh, anyway, um, when he went there, um, uh, Archie came up to him and asked why he leave, because he would scare a loser. Aku appear with Scaramouche, and where the only thing I have made one thing about Scaramouche, he is really resourceful. It's kind of funny. Um, what did I begin? Uh, when Jack first met him and cut his head off, he was alive, he hopped, he got, well, he found a boat where he, uh, he couldn't get off because he had no body. Um, and he went through, he had to, uh, like, try to sneak in the chair, it didn't work, uh, Went on his dog body and didn't work. And he went on his guy, which worked. And when he took the head, took his uh, him off, his head looked like a freaking penis. I'm not, I am not joking. And he even gave him to, looks like a talking penis. Um, not, I digress. I don't, okay, what? Uh, oh, yeah. And when he finally meets Aku, he gave his body back, and when he saw that Jack had D got his sword back, he just turned right around and blew his head off. That was a sad ending to a character. Well, before he was leaving, he found out Ashi was his biological daughter because he went to the call, uh, si the, uh, sister's, uh, daughter of Aku, I can't remember the name at the moment because it escaped me. And turns out, and he put a piece together what happened. That he gave part of himself in a cup, and one of the preachers get drank it. Um, and she gave birth to seven kids, which was and one of them was Ashi. Ashi went. Ashi defended her dad not on purpose. Um. At the end, Aku grabbed. Uh, Near the end, Ashi wanted Jack to kill her, and he couldn't. Now, we up to the final episode. It starts off with, uh... Those you only know from favorite other YouTubers that, that they have reacting videos. I don't have a camera. The only camera I got is on an iPhone, but uh, it's too full because of me. A games I have on there. It starts off with, uh... Scotsman's goal... Uh, which I forgot to mention in the episode, uh, Scotsman, uh, died, but he came back as a ghost, uh, okay. Um, and while they were all watching a live broadcast, everyone that Jack met was there, the wooly, the big people, the dog, even the, yeah, even the dog from the first one. Um, they all seen Jack, um, I'm going to get on uh, a kill, but what what's funny was in the beginning, and like we were watching the broadcast on the go, and all of a sudden they did the original open, and I'm going to say it right now because I just I'm feel because I feel like it. Long ago in the distant land, I Aku, a shape shifting master of darkness, unleashed unspeakable evil. 
but a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. Before the final blow was struck, I tore open a portal in time and flung them into the future where my evil law. Now the future seeks to return to the past and undo the future that is our crew. And we see everybody and when do it he was about to uh and we see everybody worry scared and all of a sudden they decide to uh wait hey, we need to do something. Everyone came together and went rescued him. While everyone was there, the Scotman and, and Jack were and I and it's like seeing two friends old uh two old friends getting back together at uh at something like that. Um If, what the funny one is that he wanted to pick he, that J, he wanted Jack to pick one of his daughters to marry. Jack refused, like, wait, you're not good enough for their daughters? And it's like, no, no, it's not there. I had I met someone. He's like, oh who? He points to Archie, he's like, Oh, I don't think she's your type. Um, at the end, Archie regained her sentence and Well, um, she found out she had quick power, she went back in time, killed uh Ar Pat's Aku, which was voiced by Mako, who's dead, um, sadly enough. After that, um, Aku died permanently, which was sad, because I always did like Aku. Um, when he died, when he died, Pete went back to the land. He was back home. Jack and Kay married. Um. Uh, and this one I actually kind of expect. I, like most people, they get that Archie was gonna die, and I was one of them. I'll not. I'll admit that. And. And I thought that's gonna be a good ending, you know, Archie Jack get married, have kids, and all that. Then she collapsed in the altar, told Jack that she since she defeated Aku, he, she would never have been born. And she died, uh, I guess. I depressed Jack went into the middle went into the woods and he was in the tree and Ladybug showed up and which I at first I thought it was Archie you know like saying thank you for saving me and and I love you and then goodbye. No, it exactly turns out it'd be like a reminder of the good times. And left and it had a beautiful, beautiful and song in a beautiful um setting and you should see Jack looking out into, into into the uh into the field with the flowers blooming. I was breathtaking. And that was it and I realized how much Jack was finally over and and in my childhood was I thought my childhood was gone. I want to do what I think about, and my opinion about it is that um, about season one, seasons one through four, I was not a big Samurai Jack fan, but I did love the show regardless. I couldn't, I didn't watch it every single time, I, because I've been busy playing around or just like doing chores or something like that. Or watching something else. I never got and when Tsunami ended, um, I was kind of upset because uh, they ended because they had some good shows on it still like and Mega that's all are Samurai Jack yada yada. Yeah, I know it's bad now and everything. I already know that for a long time. Oh, 
And the ending to Samurai Jack was... Yeah, a lot of people complained that it wasn't what they wanted to see. They wanted Jack to see Achi and, and, and all, to get married and have a good life. And I want to set the record straight. I thought the ending was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't horrible. The reason I find it okay because... Because... Well, if you alter something in the past, you're going to end up changing, changing it. Regardless of what's going to happen. Most people, and yeah, you might think the gods could like calm down, gave Achi in, and yet happy ending and all, but no, gods like that, um, they don't do that. But it goes to show that even though you may lost someone, you still can carry the memories of the loved ones, and you still carry on and carry on the good memories. And I actually did not mind it. I thought it was like a good way to say goodbye to an old friend that and I don't know what to say about much about it. It's sad, really. It, it, it really is sad. Saying goodbye to something that you uh, know most of your life. Like, when I was ended, for most people who grew up with it, they were in the blue. And I was in the blue for a little bit, and I just remembered all the good times I even remember watching my dad. Scotsman, uh, uh, him, his wife. And that uh, Jack being silly and all sometimes, but and One my final thoughts, it could, it probably would could have been better, but it already was a great show. It didn't need to be any improvement. Um, I have to say, um, just like the song went in the show, we will never forget you, Samurai. And I will never forget it because it's part of my childhood and it was not going to go away. And I thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great time, too.